I was a voice actor for about 25 years and I was gluten intolerant, so I love baked goods. But 20 years ago, 15 years ago, there was no gluten-free to be found, or at least any good gluten-free baked goods to be found. So, you know, I always loved baking, so I would just take recipes that I loved, started with the banana chocolate, banana bread recipe of a friend that was so unhealthy. I mean, it had like two sticks of butter, two mm -hmm, cups of mm -hmm. sugar. I was like, whoa. And I modified delicious. it. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it's delicious for sure, right? Yeah. That's why I took the recipe. And I just modified it over dozens and dozens of times, trying to get it as healthy as possible, but keeping that deliciousness so that you couldn't tell the difference. Took two sticks of butter down to three tablespoons of coconut oil, took the flour from white flour to almond flour and rice flour. And when was this? How many years ago was this? This was about 15 years ago. Okay. So at yeah. that point, like almond flour is not as good as it is now. No, I imagine, it was. Right? Almond it was. flour was. Okay. Yeah. Almond and rice flour were. Okay. Yep. And then I took, yeah, I took the sugar down to three tablespoons of sugar from two cups by letting the bananas ripen really well. And oh, I wow. called it Bonancy bread and I sold it at the farmer's market. And that's kind of how Phonuts was born. That's Didn't amazing. think anybody would buy the loaf, threw some of the batter into the donut mold, called them faux nuts, and uh, that was it. It really? flew off the shelves. So you were samples out. solely at the farmer's market. That's it, and then, just at the farmer's market. So let me get this straight. Banana bread first, and then while still at the farmer's market, you started incorporating that into faux nuts as well, right? Yeah, I didn't okay. think anybody would buy the whole loaf of bread, the banana bread loaf for me. So mm -hmm. I put it in donut pans and called them faux nuts and sold them for a couple bucks. People could have the option. Mm -hmm. I put out samplers, mm -hmm. and they flew in the pouring rain, flew off the shelves, like 65 loaves in a couple hours. And a friend of mine at the time came by, and she was a, a pastry chef. She fell in love with the faux nuts. She quit her job as a pastry chef. We opened up faux nuts, and I started formulating a bunch more recipes mm -hmm. gluten-free. And so that's how it was born. Since then, she stepped out, oh, and my so husband good. has stepped in. I just opened this, and it smells amazing. What was the moment for you when you said, okay, the farmer's market's going really well. We're onto something. It's time to do like a retail strategy. It was that day when my friend came to see him, the very first farmer's market. She was texting me saying, I'm going to come and see you. She was with her boyfriend, who was a fine dining executive chef. They were both fine dining executive chefs. I said, don't even bother coming. I have nothing left. And when, by the time she got there, I had two phone nuts left. Her boyfriend at the time's idea was like, you guys need to open a phone nut shop. I'm like, okay. And that was it. I did the farmer's market a couple more times. We found a space, and that's when Phone Nuts was born. What was the first space? The one on Beverly? Yeah, it was on that? West 3rd, yep. So you've been there the entire Nuts. time? We've been there the whole time, wow. 10 years. Okay. Yep. Okay, 10, 10 years, years ago. And at that point, did you feel early to the market? Like, were you like... We were the first gourmet donut shop in L.A., mm -hmm. and we're one of very few gluten-free bakeries in L.A. There, there aren't very... There's a maybe three gluten-free bakeries. There's a couple more now. A couple now. more now, yeah. yeah but, but you're dedicated, yeah. yeah. Dedicated, dedicated gluten-free yeah. bakery. And I know at some point you guys run out. Like uh, Yes, we do. So we used to go every morning because my wife would be like, we have to go early. Right. right. Like before running. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before the hike, not <laughs> yeah. after the hike because after it's, the hike they're all... Right. Uh, there's nothing, it's there's unpredictable, not you know. Yeah. 